the government should do something to prolong our life, not to hasten it. I thought I would write to Mr Heath to see what he could do for us. I made a letter back to say about the prices and he was reviewing the situation and things like that. Well, now we get nowhere with it. We get that every time. It's got to be realised also that a lot of old people, they're too proud to go up and ask for assistance. You get only £8.10. That's for two. Out of that, you have to pay rent, fire, clothes and food. So where you're going to go or what you're going to do otherwise than sit at the fireside, I just don't know. And my husband is an old age pensioner, but I'm fortunate enough that I'm doing a full-time job. I work from seven to three one week and, and three to half past ten the next in the toilet attendant. And my husband, he has five pound one shilling. Now his five pound one shilling, he spends on food. I pay the rent, 20 pound a fortnight, and I have one pound and tuppence change out of that. A widow's pension of uh, five pounds, and uh, I go to work at home help. I help the old ladies and do the cooking and shopping, and uh, I wanted to retire because my legs are bad. And I went up to the uh, assistants to find out how much they'd given me, and all they said was 18 shillings. So I said, OK, I live on 18 shins, I might as well stop at work. I've got arthritis in the legs and uh, in the knees, I can't bend very much. And I think that's a damn disgrace. I'm an ex-miner. I've got uh, city courses in, in both lungs. My basic pension is uh, £5.06 because of the added graduated pension. But what it's doing to, to myself and to other old age pensions, the, the cost of, of travelling about is, is confining us to our homes. We can't go out to see our families, so we're made lonelier than ever because of the, the cost of travelling. We simply can't afford to travel, and in my own case, we very often, I walk distance which I shouldn't walk to see our sons 